Hello everyone, today we'll prepare some exquisite pork ribs over low heat in homemade barbecue sauce, Texas style. Artito's Kitchen. Whole pork ribs rack, coarse salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, sweet paprika powder. Start by mixing the pepper, salt, garlic, onion, and paprika powder. Next, dry the rack of ribs and remove the excess fat and the layer of fibrous tissue that covers one side of the rack. You will need a very sharp knife and take special care with your fingers. Now, spread a little mustard on the ribs. This will help us to make the spices stick and cover the whole piece of meat with the mixture of salt and spices. Without leaving any free space and take it to the preheated oven at 130 degrees with the bones down. Remember to put heat up and down and let it cook for two hours. Don't forget to put a container with water to keep the humidity inside the oven. In the meantime, we're making a delicious homemade Texas-style barbecue sauce. So start by dicing the garlic and onion into tiny squares. Then incorporate everything in a pot with a good piece of butter and cook until the onion begins to soften. Add sugar and mix as if you want to form a caramel. Then add half cup of apple cider vinegar, ketchup, hot paprika, mustard powder, salt, pepper, and four strokes of Worcestershire sauce. Cook over medium heat for three minutes and then transfer the sauce to a blender or food processor. Put the sauce back in the pot, cook for two minutes more and let it rest. Once the sauce has lost temperature, I recommend you to transfer it to an empty ketchup jar. This will make it easier to add the sauce to the piece of meat. To accompany these delicious ribs, we're going to prepare some baby corn, so spread them all very well in butter on all sides and wrap it in aluminum foil with a little salt and pepper. Put them in the oven too under the rack. After two hours, open the oven and hydrate the ribs on both sides with a one-to-one -one mixture of apple cider vinegar and water. Then, slather the sides of the meat with the homemade Texas-style barbecue sauce and put the ribs back in the oven for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, prepare two long strips of parchment or butcher paper on your kitchen counter and spread a splash of barbecue on the paper. After 15 minutes, remove the ribs from the oven, place the non-barbecue side down, hydrate the meat with the water-vinegar mixture, add more barbecue on top and slightly wet the paper with the water-vinegar mixture. All of these liquids will keep the meat juicy and add a lot of flavor to the meat. Wrap the ribs tightly and put them back in the oven for two hours. Take the corns out of the oven, open them carefully and put them in a bowl with a tablespoon of mayonnaise and grated parmesan cheese to taste. Save them for the plating time. After two hours, remove the ribs from the oven and even wrap in the paper, let them rest for 30 minutes. Ready? Open your long-awaited gift, cut the ribs individually and enjoy these super juicy pork ribs in barbecue sauce. Leave us a comment on what variations you would make to this recipe. If you make it, we would love you to tag us on Instagram so we can repost your photo. You can find a complete recipe in our website, arditoskitchen.com. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more easy to make recipes. Remember, practice makes perfect. See you next week. See you next week. See you next week. See you.